Here is an excellent technique to solve difficult trigonometric identities. If you have an identity as given here, which is square root of 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x equals to cosecant x minus cotangent x, in this case, rationalize the denominator and that is the strategy. So denominator for us is 1 plus cos x. Let's rationalize it. So we start with the left side and then what we can do is, let me write them separately as 1 minus cos x over square root of 1 plus cos x. Now rationalization means multiplying and dividing by the conjugate. Conjugate means if it is 1 plus cos x, multiply divide by 1 minus cos x, correct? That is what it means. So we'll do that and that is both numerator and denominator will be multiplied and and divided by 1 minus cos x. Now in this case we are rationalizing the denominator. Now as you can see numerator becomes 1 minus cos x whole square and square root of that will be just 1 minus cos x. So we get 1 minus cos x in the numerator. As far as, far as the denominator is concerned it is a plus b times a minus b. So what do we get here? We get 1 minus cos square x. Do you see that? So in one step, we have kind of eliminated the square root and that helps to simplify. So we have 1 minus cos x in the numerator and the denominator is 1 minus cos square x is sine square x. Square root of sine square x, correct? So let's continue on this side and then see what do we get. So we get 1 minus cos x over sin x. Now you can write this as 1 over sin x minus cos x over sin x. And that gives you the right side, which is cosecant x minus cotangent x. I hope you appreciate this technique, right? Let's go through it once again. Well, we wanted something in the numerator and therefore we rationalized the denominator. That is the strategy. And by doing so, we eliminated the square root. You see that. And then you move to this step and get your result, right? So for you to practice, I'll give you a very similar question, which you can try it out, which is square root of 1 plus sin x over 1 minus sin x equals to secant x plus tan x. So apply the same technique, you can rationalize the denominator, get your result. Thank you.